Existence of a soul? Or a body, soul, and spirit. You have flesh? Yeah. You have, so that's your body? Yeah. So, you know, the, can you just show me here? No, I mean, you know, we have freedom of speech and everything. Yeah, well, he's, he's preaching on the board. So, I mean, yeah. Well, because you don't believe in God, you're not going to believe even this, the things that I'm that I'm saying. So well, I need evidence. As much though. as much as much as I can try try to quote scripture to you and try to, try to convince you of the truth, if you're li- because you're living in error and you, you're going to do what you want to do, it's not going to make any sense. The spiritual things do not bear witness within you, man. Well, I'm not no. living. I'm not living in error. I'm waiting for the compelling evidence to believe in God. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, the fact that. Uh, what you see? Was this all created from nothing? A big bang? Uh, a big explosion? Are I don't we know. a primordial soup? I don't know. That just can't, that, uh, Neither one of us know. by happenstance or coincidence? I don't think so. I, I believe that that there is a creator. I believe in, in this in, it's in the person of Jesus Christ. It's God, God that created the heavens and the earth and all there. And so, I mean, thing is, is, you know, I, I mean, for the atheist, you know, they'll believe in hell once they're, they're, they'll believe in God when they're in hell. That's how, that's that's just the way it'll come down to because people think hell is here, people think this, this is the, as bad as it gets, but when you reject the Lord, when you reject God, it's just, you know, it's going to be a dreadful day. We don't even that's know. Why we come to the hope. That's why we're, we're, we're telling you to come to Jesus Christ because he died on the cross for your sin that you could have eternal life. Man, this is chaotic out here. I mean, <laughs> what the hell is this happening here? You know that like a, a woman was murdered over on Arlington like yeah, a few weeks yeah, ago and shoved. That should strike the fear of God within many years. To me, to me, that's compa- that's evidence that God, if He does exist, hates us. No, no, it's because man free, freely does what he wants to do and lives. Man is t- their sin has tainted their soul. They're bound. We're all born in sin, we're all in need of redemption, and when man chooses to live by their own devices and to do what they want to do, the end is the end result is guess what? God takes his hands off and says, You want to do it your own way? Then that's the way it's gonna be. So doing what we wanna do ends in murder. No, well doing what you wanna do ends in you living in sin, whatever way you want to call it, because you may not think it's sin to get drunk like you had just said before. You don't think it's sin. I don't you think it's make up your own rules. No, you make up your own rules and regulations and way of life. And, you know, and, um, well, then why is it that... It. Why, is it that why do you even have to live by any morals if you don't believe in God? But, but why is it that no two Christians even agree on what is moral? Okay, well, because there's there's a distinction, the true and the false. There's true believers that believe homosexuality is sin, which I believe it is. They can't sin. possibly be sin Bible because it doesn't hurt anybody. Bible, well, the, they can't possibly be sin. Play the card of you know they were born this way and all. And, no, it's just know, it's just know. gay people exist and that's all there is to it, and they don't it's hurt anybody. Choice. It's a choice. They don't hurt anybody but by existing as who they are. That, but but the thing is, is they convince themselves that that's who they are, but it's because they're meant to. They're I'm believing what? the lie. Yeah. It's, it's because they explain, can't. explain in detail. Explain in detail how being and emotions are deceptive. They really are. The explain. Deceitfully okay, I've I've gotten this entire spiel. I lived in a Catholic household. Let me ask you. Explain in detail how being and living as a gay person hurts any other human being. Go. Okay. Um, they're hurting themselves for one. The fact that how many. Uh, um, 
some AIDS boots are at Summerfest? How many AIDS boots are at these gay events? If it, if AIDS didn't come from man having sex with man, women That's having such women bullshit! Women are you kidding me? Dude, uh, straight people, so straight so people get HIV all the time. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 what, what I'm trying to is, what I'm trying to say. The, you'll make, you'll play the card of it came from an ape man having sex with an ape. I don't know that. Stuff. Well, that's where they said AIDS come from. Why is it so common amongst the gay community? AIDS. Why is it so common? I mean, if this is just, you know, what, what I'm saying is a dumb thing. I mean, not only that, but it's unnatural. How do you reproduce? Man on man, you can't. So anyone who so does, so anyone who doesn't, anyone who doesn't, wait, 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 wait. Anyone who doesn't reproduce is unnatural. So if you're impotent, you're unnatural. I didn't say that. If you choose not to have kids, you're unnatural. No, no. If you chose to have a family, being homosexual, if you, you could not, it, it could not work in the sense that, well, yeah, you'd adopt children and, you know, you do your thing within the system and then twit their mind that children will be all screwed up because they, they can't even know who mommy and daddy is because they're both, they're both of the same sex, but one has a butch haircut and one doesn't. Thing is, is, thing is, is that's all bent and twisted. So having a butch haircut is twisted no, and bent. No, 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 that's where you have it twisted. That's where you have it twisted. All of those things you strung together have nothing I'm to do about a with morality. A man, None of those things have anything to do with morality. A woman that dresses up as a man gets a short haircut. How do you define dress as a man? How do you define? No, no, takes hormones. Takes hormones to become like a man. That is unnatural. So it occurs in nature. So your 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 whole your whole notion of saying that this is a normal lifestyle. It's not normal to have to take these hormones and these different things to change your body structure. Because God didn't make a woman as a man or a man as a woman. He it, created he created man and woman to, for man to be with woman. But who gives a shit though? Who does it hurt? Their own soul. It'll damn their own soul. You've never like proven the existence of a soul. You've and, never proven and, and, and the existence of a soul. Of a savior, man. You're in need of a Lord, You've man. never proven the existence of a soul hey, or God hey, in the first place. You know, whether you want fools make a mock at sin, you can make a mock at this. You can, you know, you can, you can convince yourself of the lie and, and continue on your merry way. But the thing, straight to hell, man, because that is where you're at. But that's not a meaningful choice because either uh, I have two choices, right? I can follow God's word or burn in hell. That's not a meaningful choice. Choice. Well, that's because that'd be like my, that'd be like my point in a gun to your head and said you can either die or suck my dick. That's not a meaningful choice. No, no, no. What it comes down to is you, you you've made a choice to rebel against God and to reject His word. Therefore, now you're it, it, it's this is where it stands because you stand before God in your sin without having received the free gift of salvation. Now, the wages of your sin, which your rap sheet is probably very big. Just you're like bearing false witness, witness against your neighbor right now. You're just, bearing false witness just, against just my like neighbor my right now. Sheet, just like my rap sheet was pretty big before oh God. Gosh. I was drunk. I was a drug user. I, had a, I was living a messed up life. I was living a life of sin. What if... <sighs> I needed to be saved. I couldn't save myself, so I needed a savior. So you, you need a savior. Indulging in, in vice can't necessarily be sin. Because it like doesn't, it doesn't. Your crutch, the, the, what you say, your vice? Indulging in vice can't, isn't necessarily wrong. You realize that, right? Because what, like un, in, 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 unless, indulging in food, indulging in, unless it hurts someone. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Careful. But unless it hurts somebody else, it can't possibly. Can we just talk like on a personal level? This is like with everybody else and this and that. Let's just. Talk but this is so level. chaotic and awesome, and I really want to capture these moments. And this but guy. You actually, you actually need the approval of, of the one you're taping. Actually, so and I'm not approving. I'm not approving of this. So that's not true. Actually, yeah, this is actually it is. No, actually, it's not. It's to tape me, you actually need my approval. That's ab absolutely yeah, not true. Is. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely not true. You can find a cop and ask him; he'll tell you exactly what I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, but if you post this on some website or anything, yeah, I probably won't. Yeah. I probably won't do that. Actually, even if you did, at least people hear the word and consider their soul, and hopefully. It's, to Jesus Christ. I need evidence of a soul. What is your empirical evidence that God or a soul even or hell even exists? That's the that's the thing, like 
If these things you're not gonna believe in God till you meet them. That's just the, and, and then you're gonna meet it on the on on bad terms, man. And then you're gonna wish, hope, and pray that you would have came to the Lord, received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord, and Savior. But when it's too late, it's too late. It's game but, over. But man. you're assuming when the that of God is final. Can I please man. explain to you like my background a little bit? Like I was raised Catholic. Like that doesn't do anything for you, man. I took the Eucharist. I fucking was I was baptized, that circumcised, all this fucking bullshit. All all these okay. awful rituals that I went through yeah, yeah. by force. I was never, I was never, you know. I'm sorry to hear that because I went through the same rigmarole, man, and it didn't save me. Someone I cut your dick. Drunk, so someone I cut still... your dick, huh? Are you okay? Circumcision actually, they, they, they counted off as, as being. I, I think there were some protesters at, at Mayfair. This, uh, uh, they were uh, anti-circumcision. They I agree dressed, with them. They were dressed in some crazy um, costume or something, and they looked ridiculous. I don't see what's wrong with looking ridiculous. Is proof that their argument is wrong? No, they had a. It was a hippopotamus with a blood stain on his crotch. It looked so stupid. It well, looked they look stupid. So I'm therefore, saying, circumcision is wrong. No, but what I, no, what I'm what I'm saying is is it's in it was in circumcision cannot save you. it was under the old covenant law it's sexual assault through, through, the, the, the Jews were to be circumcised under the old covenant that God had made with Abraham. It's so sexual the assault. Thing is, is, the I mean. Thing is, <laughs> oh man, this is good shit. It's ten o'clock. You're done. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know free speech had a deadline. Yeah, but um, you can't magnify it. Oh, okay. Well, well, how is circumcising a kid without their consent not assault and therefore a sin? Oh my gosh, man. See, see, this is that's a are, sin. No, these are the type of debates that happen with unregenerated people that aren't born again, just like you. You'll, you'll, you'll debate about this, like, like for instance, there was this man that, that was taught, Jesus was talking to about this, um, or uh, the, the Pharisees came to Jesus, you know, what happens if your brother's, your brother's wife dies? Because under their, under their, the uh, old covenant, um, the, uh, or no, I forget which one, it, I forget which it was, but you'd have to, uh, the brother, sorry, I, I mixed it up. If, yeah, yeah, if the, I forget what it, I forget what it says, but it basically, if the brother, if the, the uh, husband died, and it would, his brother would have to be, you know, take the wife to be, you know, for them to be, you know, to carry on the seed and whatnot. Sorry, I'm not explaining exactly right. I had a mind block. But the thing is, is, you know, he said, well, what happens when, whose husband would it be if they continued on this process of what, the husband dying and then them having to carry on the seed? Well, Jesus says, you know not the scriptures nor the power of God. Meaning they were trying to find Jesus, trying to catch Jesus at his word. They were trying to, try, trying to put him in a corner. And the thing is, is when you don't know God, all this is going to be nonsense to you. It's not going to make sense until you have a revelation of the Holy Scriptures be, being enlightened of God through Jesus Christ, where now all of a sudden the Bible isn't just a word, a bunch of words on a table, or I mean, sorry, on, uh, sorry, a, a bunch of words on, you know, in a book. Now it's the living word to you. So that's why these questions, these different things, why, what about a soul, all this stuff, it becomes revelation when you realize the sinner that you are and that you're lost without God and you know that you're in the gutter, you're bound up. I'm in the so gutter God, and you know this. You know hey, you're bound do you know up. the Ten Commandments? Like it oh, says, thou shall not lie. Thou bear shall false not. witness against thy neighbor, buddy. That's what you're doing when you presume that I'm a sinner. But you are, man. All are born in sin. Thou you're shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Okay, so you're quoting scripture, but you don't even believe in God. So, But I know it better than you do, apparently. Therefore, you're bearing <laughs> false, witness, false witness. But you're a false He's witness. presuming that I'm a sinner without knowing me. No, no, no see, see, you're man. See, we're you're human beings, okay? God. Just like you are, right? Can you agree to that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we know what it is to live in this world as a sinner. Can you agree with that? No, because I probably oh. disagree with you. I just probably disagree with you on what constitutes okay, sin. Okay, so you're telling me you don't believe you're a sinner? I can't uh, I mean, like, 
Tell by me, your by your standards, I don't I don't agree with what you would no, con no, no, but I'm just agree. asking a simple question. God gives it's it not, to everyone. It's, it's, you it's, overly, it's overly simplistic. No, no, that's the tell, problem. Bottom line, my friend, do you believe you're a sinner? Yes or no? It's just that simple. Don't do I believe that I am a sinner? It? Yes or no? Bent the truth a little bit. Did you ever, you ever, you ever, so, so, I mean, a lie, is a lie always no. bad? A lie is always bad, no matter oh, yeah, what. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No matter what. So oh, you yeah. become a Okay, liar. so, I don't know, if someone says, like, tell me where your mom is so I can kill her or I'm gonna kill you no, or whatever. No. Well, how I, about li I lie and how say, about, like, I lie like, to them about where my mom is so they don't kill my mom. Okay, listen. That would be a lie to save my mom. How about you use these different How about like this? Like, you let me give you another, let me give you another set. Okay? To you, as being heterosexual, I don't think you're homosexual. I don't Who gives a shit if I'm a homosexual or not? Whole point is, How do you even know okay, that God gives a shit? All right. Say you are heterosexual. And you have a fantasy. Whatever and you look at the same sex. No, no, no. Whatever you happens, sin against you God. don't. You sin against out the God. Splinter my eye when there's a you sin against God. Hold up, but take you don't know you sin against God, but yet God gives you another day. He covers you with mercy because you're a sinner on your way to hell. By your standards, I don't agree no, no, with you. I don't agree holy, with your standards of what standards constitutes by right and wrong. Righteous God. I don't agree with you and what you constitute as the right or wrong. The holy and righteous God, the same one who's given you the air to breathe. You might not even believe he's giving How you the air do you know that he even exists? What is your evidence? The evidence is look, at, look above the concrete, look above the brick and the lumber, and look into the skies, and you see the stars that they illuminate at night. That's not evidence. No That's not evidence. That's evidence no, it isn't. Is one superior being. That's evidence that there are stars in the sky. That's all That's evidence. Created. That's evidence. Of, created. By who? By God. How do you know? You made it up in your crazy head. You gotta be under 30 years old, am I right? What? Who gives a shit? Because you got intellect that's been deceived within education. You got what? intellect that's been deceived by the education that's given today. I went to Catholic you, school, motherfucker. Doesn't matter because then you went to college. Then you got really screwed up, right? <laughs> Did you go to college, yes or no? For, oh. for like 18 credits, sure, yeah. Okay, so, so college is done. college is but demonic. See the colleges today in this country. <laughs> Look it up, man. Google this. Google, Google this. what? Google what? 1930. 1930. They pulled out the document that was in every college, and the documents were that you can live the way you choose to live, right? Yeah. As long as it doesn't sin against God. They took those documents out. So? So now that means you can live whatever way you live, and you don't even know you're sinning against God. Because now these universities don't tell you, they used to tell you, there's still a God. Do you know what, a constitu you know what the Constitution? The Constitution says that... So now uh, you've grown up with intelligence, as you, everyone has, and you're using it and getting an education. But in the midst of the education, they're deceiving you by believing. You don't need to know God. <laughs> you don't need to believe in God if you choose not to. I don't tell, tell you God. there is no God in our education. Today. Nobody, and that's there not true. Professors that's not are true. Determined to cause you to believe you you're from a missing link. Their professors trying to tell you today that you're here by accident. A cosmic explosion caused everything to have its perfection. You know that man today. He even opens up to the ear, the ear that's very simple that we would understand. But as somebody begins to find out and open how that ear is made, it's so fantastically put together. There's a lot of technologies that put together because of how we are made by God. In other words, and how we're they, they're, they're, they're researching our body parts and, and they're researching the things that are on this earth but all of it comes from God but because man has become so intellectual that he begins to believe he doesn't need to know God because we as a people of in his nation as far as 1852 I think it was there was this man called Darwin and he had a theory that seemed to be logically correct but so spiritually wrong but it was spiritual because it had the people to believe the lie. There's evidence of evolution, though. There That's the no thing. Evidence. Yeah, there, there is, evidence. motherfucker. There yeah, there is. is. There is no evidence. <laughs> won't but there's you. evidence of an invisible man in the sky who magically the created is. things. Okay. The evidence is he evolved in a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> he evolved in a fossil. Oh, my gosh. They can find out, really, now with the, with the, with the, with the technology we have, they can find out that the earth has been only in existence 
for over 6,000 years. But they, intelligently speaking, and intelligence calls you to believe that we've been here for millions of years? We definitely have. Not us, but... So if we've been here for millions of years, and the bones that come from dinosaurs that they say were billions of years, how can they still be found as bones? Impossible. Because I heard they stabbed me in the throat. They stabbed me with the throat. Yeah. Whoa. Your intellect. <laughs> will only you to believe you don't need Jesus. Because it's too simple for you. You believe in magical powers, though. And as I know, that's, there's no evidence. For me. There's no evidence of that. I rejected the thought that I needed to have Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, I have religion because religion, I said, you know what? The heck with it. I don't need to believe in that hypocrisy. Especially when I found out that those who were holy were out there pedophiles. They were out there having sex with children. I said, man, that's it. I had enough of this. I'm out of here. Who, wait, who's doing that? Where? I mean, I know that that happens, but... Like you well, these are those who really thought they had something right with God because they were told you cannot marry. How can you tell an individual that they cannot have sex? It's impossible. It's impossible. So you, so you think it, you think it's wrong to tell priests that they can't have sex and get married? I would agree with that, actually. Because it's humanly impossible. I think human beings uh, naturally, yeah, I agree. I agree that uh, we need, we have a sex drive and. Uh, with consenting adults, that should be indul indulged in. Sure. Yeah, and I don't think that I don't think that that outside of the context of marriage is a sin, though. So that might be where we differ. So I don't see any evidence that that hurts anyone. If you have sex with someone you're not married to, you know what I'm saying? So. Let's put it this way. And so, but the Bible would disagree with it's, me. It's, it's a tough thing, but it's still not impossible. It's a tough thing, but it's still not impossible. In other words, I I I got married at a late age, a very late age, back in the. 80s, actually 70s and 80s. I met this woman in 79, and I really believe I'm going to settle the issue and really settle down and do what all the others done. Marry this woman, right? I remember as a kid, I said I would never marry because when I was a kid, on every Saturday morning in June, July, and all the way, but the beginning of June, we hear these cans just going down the street, right? And then we hear all these horns on them. Well, we knew that that was because people got married. And as kids, we laugh at them. They're crazy. It would all say as kids, I'd never get married. As a kid, of course, what kid would want to? He thought it was stupid. But what I'm saying, we all eventually had that desire for the opposite sex. Are your kids, all you want to do is chase the girl, pull on her hair, but you get to the point you have a desire for the opposite sex. But unfortunately, today, it's so that you can have sex out of marriage. Because What's wrong with that? I'm married. I have a child. I'm married. Okay. That's what savior means. What's wrong with that? This is a little upsetting that you're you have so abrasive standards. to others. No, the abrasive part is even while you're married, and even while you have children so legitimately Christian? before born again, filled with the Spirit of God. And this is very Christian to you? Oh, because he's doing what Judging what others? Jesus, no, what Jesus Bearing did. false witness against you know, thy neighbor Jesus, all day. When he began to speak the word of God, when Jesus he, began to speak the word of God, so when his again, word was God, really when he began to speak the kingdom of God, have you worked, oh, have you read? I know who he is. And I also now study the word of God. But first I know who he is. Because studying the word of God without knowing him in the New Testament will enable you to do what you're doing here. Will enable you to still be in sin. While you don't believe that if you die, you will be judged for all your sins. A few chapters? Okay, how about this? How about this? The wages of sin is death. The wages of your sin is death. But these are the gift of eternal life is from Jesus Christ. These are platitudes, man. What do you mean? Like, what are you referring to specifically? Anyone who what? ever truly received Jesus Christ, that individual then become a son of God or a child of God, whether a woman or man, you become a son of God. And any son of God who is now the son of the Almighty, pure God, cannot be around and surrounded by sin while they live in the world and find that's all there is. So then you become, as God enables you to be, the mother walking a straight and narrow line, which is never easy because everyone says, come on over here. You don't really have to be that way because God doesn't expect you to. Because if you truly receive Jesus Christ, what does God want? Obey his word. What does that mean? That means deny yourself. Pick up the cross and follow after Jesus. I should pick up the cross. Pick up the cross. You should physically you know, pick up a cross. Is, is you having to bear the reality that people now don't agree with you? 
that even your own family members don't like what you become because you're not what you used to be. They don't like that. But you bear the cross and you still hold on to Jesus. Even while now you're rejected by your own family Most members. people even in America are Christian. By society, what? <laughs> but yet you hold on to the cross. What's the cross? You don't ever want to let him go. And you're willing to suffer for the sake of righteousness. You're willing to suffer for the sake of holiness. Because now you know what you, you become what you never were before. A saint. Born again. Filled with the Spirit of God. Before you were reborn. Huh? What was your issue before you were reborn? Before I was born again? Yeah. I was a sinner. What did you do? It doesn't matter. A sinner's a sinner. I was a married man living in pornography. Uh, I mean, idol, I'm not idolizing, but so fantasizing. Because you so severely wrong, committed so many wrongdoings, do you think that everyone else should be forgiven? They should if they want. So what did I do? Why should I need to be forgiven? Because you, if you haven't repented, you're a sin. And for that simple fact, that Am simple I thing, can you tell? Tell me. Well, I can right now with that smile, the way you look, and the way you dress. I don't know. I don't think so. But I know one thing. If you're enjoying all this, and you're in there, enjoying it, and you're having a drink, you're a sinner. That's it. Bottom line. Who does it hurt to dress up and have a couple drinks? I can now see what I never I don't get it. Because as a sinner, you can't see the holiness of God. You can't see the right. You can't even see that there's a heaven to wait for. All that you would believe, there might be hell, but oh well. Here I go. Because no sinner can ever enter that. I mean, like, but you appear to look to be good, but you're not. I think she's dressed as Belle from Be Beauty and the Beast, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. She be good because I thought she was a Christian. And she looks to be like one. She looks she like a Christian. Yeah. How does that? She got a very pleasant smile. Yeah, but Jesus. She's not like having the boobs hanging out all over the place, drunk and but, stupid. But Jesus looked like a hippie stoner, man. What are you talking about? But he was. But that's what he looked like. You're saying that she, you're saying that she looked like a non or like a Christian. Jesus, all the artistic depictions of him, he looks like a modern day hippie pothead Grateful Dead fan. So I mean, you would you would see a Grateful Dead fan and be like, oh, he's a sin. He looks like a sinner, right? Because he's in so, the midst of sinners, right? So if Jesus came back, you'd be like, oh, you look like a sinner. Like, no, I mean, no, no, no. We know what it is to be a sinner. We're born in this world. We know what it is to live in sin. Oh, Jill Stein, all right. Jesus Christ. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna write in Bernie, but uh. So we're allowing us, we're, we're sharing to you the truth. The truth is, I, I know about Jesus. You don't want to die in sin. Got to be born again. Who I like Jill. Jesus about Jesus in this country? Do you believe that he's a prophet, just a prophet? That doesn't mean yes or no. Confirmed. I'm not. I'm, 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 what, what, you don't know Jesus. what is it, Jill? What do you believe? What do you believe? Peace and respect, and letting people. Right on, him. right on, sister. Who died in their sins? And then that might not be drunkards. That's why Jesus I got, said, I got the Jill Stein. What's wrong with doing drugs? What is wrong with doing? Might wrong be with very doing... moral people. Dude, you realize? Hold on, hold on. People with morals die. They on. burn in hell. Hold on. Like, day and night, night and day, my but, friend. But you know about the Eucharist, right? Oh, like, I'm born and raised a Catholic. Okay, so we drink wine. That's drugs. Is it, is it not? You drink wine and you eat the wafer. Why, why do you do that? Why? What were you because, told? Because wackos, no, think, no, no, that, no, wackos no. think that it's the body and blood of an ancient Jewish guy who rose from the dead and brainwashed me as a kid to believe it. That's why. Honestly, honestly, that's why. Okay. But yet, it's, it's a fact that that Eucharist and that wine will not enable anyone on why they're doing it will not enable anyone to know why they're doing it. I didn't know why I was doing it, because out of religion, and out of the traditions of religion, I did it because I was supposed to, and I was never supposed to ask the question why. Just follow my faith. Follow blind faith, as I we think call that's it. a bad, I think that's negative. That's demonic. That's devilish. It's but, not right, but it's good. Why is it good? Because with religion, <laughs> with whatever religion you have, you learn not to live an immoral life. You learn to abide to the law, and you learn to work and get a good living. Because religion will enable you to have a moral standard. 
but even dying with a moral standard, everyone will burn in hell after their last breath. Why would that be? It would seem like unjust, right? Because now they're living by the law, they're being respectful to people, and they wouldn't want to hurt anybody, but the moral people. But God says it's a filthy rag. He says your righteousness is like a filthy rag. In other words, you might muster up some human good deeds, but in the eyes and the nose of God, it's a filthy and a stench before God. Because you're trying to get right without Jesus Christ. You're trying to get right without God. But yet God gave of himself, who became a man, who was God, and didn't sin to every temptation that he was tempted by, because he became a sacrifice. He became the Lamb of God for every human being. So that any human being can truly receive him, and he'll do what only he's able to do. He'll pull you out from what you become. I mean, there's a lot of people that I that do what I've done. I've always waited till January. Come on now, what is January? In this country, it's called the New Year's Resolution. It was the time to finally get right. But as you find the older you become, the shorter that span came, the shorter that span was where you were able to do right. But just for a while, there you go back into your drinking out of control. And there you go back to doing what you didn't want to do and having sex out of marriage. Of course, being a heterosexual, oh, Jesus. if you can't have sex with the one you want to be with, you'll have sex at home with your with your phone and watching that pornography. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You're sinning that... against your own body. What? In other words, that masturbation is also sin. That doesn't follow. You're abusing yourself. The Bible says they who abuse themselves are in sin before a pure God. I mean, I'll abuse myself by doing They who hard, abuse but... themselves are sin before God. In other words, when you spend your time after watching that pornography, or while you're watching the pornography and you're masturbating, you're sinning against God. Because you're abusing The means by which you can have a <laughs> what a poor guy. Can have a relationship with a What's that? What do you think? Yeah. Like, 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 like he's talking to the microphone, but there's no microphone. He was talking to it. He was talking. The cops came through and told him he couldn't anymore. He was here for like an hour at least. We have Jesus Christ. You don't have pepperoni and pepperoni and bologna. We have Jesus Christ. He's not like that. Amen. Pepperoni and bologna. Father. Father God. No, Mother Mary. No. The Archangel Father Michael. Mary. Look at this one. the right first word, Father God. Sorry. Because he's the one who gives his throne and gives you another Amen. The mother of right everything right is nothing for you, my friend. You need not preach that which I already know. Yeah, you have but you're still doing what you're doing. Hey, you're another show. And uh, in hand, uh, he's uh, living uh, sin, uh, and, uh, being childish. Praise God, thank God. Are you really gonna film him all night? Uh not all night. Is that your friend? Uh I mean, I don't know. Anyone who anyone who's cool is my friend, I guess. Cool. Are you cool? Are you my friend? Yeah, I was just I didn't think you knew him. I thought you were just I was talking about like, you know, theology and religion and all that stuff. Is that what you're into? Well, I personally do not believe in God, but... Well, you know what? Honestly, I believe in God, but God is a figment to make our lives better, so we thrive for something more. Okay. And live a better life. Well, are you able to do it? Well, no. Okay. I try, but yeah. you know what? That's why God forgives our sins. It, remember, remember Mick Jagger? He still do, because he's still around. Well, yeah, Mick Jagger's still there. Yeah, yeah. The role is still there. Remember that song he made, I Can't Get? No, no Satisfaction. But... I can't get no. That's so sinful. You need to repent no, for liking can't get that. Can't no satisfaction, but what? But I try and I, I try. try. Oh, yeah. So that's what you're doing. I definitely you're am doing that. Everybody is. Right. Everybody is. No, no. Yeah. I disagree. I'm no longer. But you're, I used you're, to be. you're here trying to get satisfaction from no, no, people no, no, agreeing no, no, with no, you. No. Yes. I, yes. I've got an eternal contentment. I got an eternal joy. If you had no joy, you wouldn't be here right now trying to get other people to. And I'm not being mean. I'm just saying that. That's, that's you're your correct. Joy. You're absolutely yeah, correct. Me, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's my joy. The joy and happiness are two different things. Joy and I think happiness. joy and happiness are pretty much the same thing. No, 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 no. Because joy You know what I'm happy? Okay. When I'm sick as slot machine, smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer, and listening to Prince. And things are going good. <laughs> right? That's it. But what about when you wake up tomorrow morning, say you drank too much, and you don't know what you did, and then you wake up with so many But I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
you're telling me when you drink, you wouldn't get a little loose no. as I did? Yes. No, and, and I don't. We're all liars. There's no, there's, 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 some people can't control their alcohol. Some people can't. You're telling me as a natural woman and a good little woman that you are. Okay. Let's go. My boyfriend. I love him. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. see. You need to love Jesus. You just hey, I love Jesus. What's it? I love Jesus. Have a great night. Yep, later. I some good points, don't I? You're kind of correct. Except for believing in God. That's kind of... A lot of women never listen to their man. That, someone would keep on talking and tell his man, shut up. I'm talking to this man. Right? What? They do that. But she did, and that's a good thing. Uh, I don't know. I gotta take a piss. Hey, you too, man. What? I didn't... go to show you I'm moving human just like you. You don't, like, don't agree. you don't like Jill Stein? No, I, I know one thing. I gotta use, I gotta find a John. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? I'll follow you. You, gotta uh, use you are not gonna follow me to the bathroom, that's for sure. <laughs> that is definitely for no, sure. I know. Man. I know. I know. I know. In I these days, it'd be wrong. Because in these days, Alright, we're on part three of the crazy street creature Halloween madness. What do you think about all this mess? Hello. <laughs> do you believe in God or whatever? No, I don't. I don't either. <laughs> That's not something Audrey would say, would she? Uh, I actually don't know. What is, I don't know much about her opinions. God is, God is just uh, theory. But according to this guy, uh, I'm a sinner, but like he's never met me or known anything that I've... Uh, he just assumes everyone's a sinner, I guess. True. Except for them, conveniently. You want the reality of hell. Die in your sin, and when you meet God, the reality of hell will be quite real. When you're in the plane... Well, God's a dick, then. Like, what the hell? When all that you've done is... It's Halloween! Is, when all that you have done is rendered to your charge at the time you fornicated, slept around, seeing it, testing out the water, seeing if you were compatible, now when you're in hell, you'll be wishing, hoping, and praying you wouldn't have slept around with the people you slept around with. <laughs> because the wages of sin is death. When you stand before God in your sin, it's going to damn you. We're here to say Jesus Christ came to save you while you still have breath, while you still have life. You can call on God. You can turn to Jesus Christ. Dude, I love these costumes tonight. Hell yeah. Jesus. But, like, what about rock and roll? Like, is that a product of the devil? Because if it is, then the devil rocks. You know what? It's a backslidden heart. Uh, you know what I call it? A backslidden heart. That's what I call it. Whoa, look! Stay puffed! Oh! Wait, I don't really understand what that meant, though. But, dude. <laughs> Mother puss bucket.